Hello, today we are going to learn how to draw a hyperbola given its two axes, the transverse axis A, A prime and the conjugate axis B, B prime. We'd like to remind you of the definition of a hyperbola. A hyperbola is an open curve formed by two branches between two focal points, such that the difference of the distances to the two focal points is constant for every point on the curve. This constant is also equal to the length of the traverse axis A, A prime. So here we have on the screen the traverse axis A, A prime marked on the horizontal line and the conjugate axis B, B prime marked on the vertical line, which cross each other at a midpoint, which we will call O, which is going to be the center point of the hyperbola. So the first thing we are going to do is to locate our two focal points on the horizontal line. To do this, we set our compass to the radius AB and setting it on midpoint O, we are going to scribe an arc to the right and to the left, obtaining new, two new points, which will be our focal points F and F prime, as can be seen here. So the next step is to mark various points to the right of the focal point F prime. In this case, we are going to mark five points of two centimeters, but it doesn't matter if they are equidistant or not. We are going to number these new points from P1 to P5. So the next step, we are going to set the compass to the length A point one, And with this radius, we set our compass on focal point F and draw an arc to the right as shown. Now we set the compass to the length A prime point one, and now with this new length, we set our compass on F prime and scribe two arcs, cutting the previously drawn arc at two new points, which we will call one A and one B, as can be seen here in the video. So the next step, we are going to set the compass to the length A, P2, and with this radius, we set our compass on the focal point F and draw an arc to the right again, as shown. Now we set the compass to the length A prime P2, and with this new length, we set our compass on F prime and scribe two new smaller arcs cutting the previously drawn arc at two new points which we will call 2a and 2b as can be seen here we are going to repeat this process with all of the points so because of this we are going to speed up the video so that you don't get bored at home so again, setting the compass to A point four and setting the compass on F prime, we scribe a new arc. So now that we have all the points on the right branch of the hyperbola that we are going to draw, we are going to locate the points for the left branch of the hyperbola by following the same procedure using the same radiuses, but switching our center points from focal point F to focal point F prime. Now all the small radiuses will be centered on focal point F and the large radiuses will be centered on focal point F prime. So the next step, we are going to set the compass to the length A P1 and with this radius, we set our compass on focal point F prime and draw an arc to the left as shown. Now we set the compass to the length A prime P1 and now with this new length we set our compass on focal point F and scribe two smaller arcs cutting the previously drawn arc at two new points which we will call 1C and 1D as can be seen here. So to continue, the next step, we continue to set the compass to the length A.2 
and with this radius we set our compass on the focal point f prime and draw an arc to the left as shown. Now we set the compass to the length a prime p2 and set this new length. We set our compass on focal point f and scribe two arcs cutting the previously drawn arc at two new points which we will call 2c and 2d as can be seen here. And again, we are going to repeat this process with the rest of the points. So because of this, we are going to speed up the video so you don't get bored at home. And we are going to obtain points 3C and 3D and points 4C and 4D. So now that we have located all the points of the hyperbola, it's time to draw the curve in a thicker line. You can use a French curved ruler or drawing freehand, freehand, joining all the points as can be seen on the screen. It's important to start each curved line vertically from each vertex A or A prime and slowly curve to the following points, both above and below the vertices. So here you can see the finished hyperbola I hope this video has helped you and please press like or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until the next time, thank you very much.